background on myself. I went to, uh, went to tech, graduated in uh, 2008, civil engineering, and then uh, maintenance and equipment, so cars, locomotives, and all supervisor operations. different upgrades from here and there. A lot of you probably hear about uh, ECP, or electronic control uh, brake, I believe that's how it's pronounced. But uh, ECP works on kind of the same system. It's actuated by the air, but it's, uh, it uh, transfers through elect electronics. So all the cars act simultaneously. Uh, all the cars that are restricted by the FRA for the age, they have to come in every two years and get a full underbody inspection. Feel over there, that car is jacked up right now. But we'll jack it up, pull the truck up <coughs> under. Every car that comes through the shop has to have a single car air test. What that does is just checks, make sure all the, the air brakes are working on the cars. Um, you know, sen check sensitivity, uh, emergency application, uh, and just relative efficiency. We have two electronic brake testers around here. It's basically a plug and go system. You plug it in, push a button, and it goes through, through manipulation. So it lets us know what goes wrong with it. This is going to be our uh, water mechanical shop. We're on the uh, machine. This one folds up the, the car doors and they're up on top of the dock. The strap will pull along the car and hydraulically manipulate it, hook up the car, spin that, that square stop you see on the car and hook up the door. Whoa. They service all these locomotives in here, right? Or eat it from that? No. And it's kind of a bigger stage up to have more engines. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oil levels. 
uh, do an oil sample, send that in for analysis, um, check a lot of electrical components, make sure they're not uh, overheating, corroding, etc. like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to say two miles on here, we'll go around the locomotive cab, we'll go in, we'll go out the other side, we'll come back when we first came in the building. So if you have any, other, have any questions, try to ask when we're out there. But what I'm going to say is when we're going to cross over to the locomotive, you have to be very cautious. There's a gap there. Okay? So make sure you have three points of contact. Thank you. 